Welcome to Adventures with Kendall. You know, back in our Route 66 video, we ended our journey at Rancho Cucamonga's Ridgefield Gas Station. Well, today's episode is an in-depth look at this unique landmark. It's gonna be a fun time learning the unique story of this gas station. So let's get going and check out the Ridgefield Station in Rancho Cucamonga. I'm standing in the city of Rancho Cucamonga and from the historic Richfield gas station. It's a great place to check out along Route 66. This station would have been along Route 66 and is a great place to stop, look, and see parts of this history up close. Built in 1915, the service station operated off Route 66 or Full Hill Boulevard until 1971. It was built by Henry Klusman, who built some of the buildings in early Rancho Cucamonga. William Harvey operated the Cucamonga Garage and Cyclery on the lot next door. In 1914, Harvey purchased the land from Klusman and built a larger garage at the back of the lot with gas pumps out front. In 1916, the street side garage was taken down and rebuilt in the back of the lot. It was given a Spanish colonial style facade to match the newly built station out front. This rear garage collapsed in 2011 after being weakened by a fire. William Harvey ran the station until 1925 when Ansel Morris and his wife bought and ran the station. In 1945, the station was purchased by Arved Chief Lewis, who operated the station from 1945 to 1971. In 1971, the service station closed. Afterwards, the property was used for a flower shop, glass shop, bike shop, and stereo shop. By the mid-1980s, the station had been abandoned and vandalized. In 2009, the city of Rancho Cucamonga declared the old service station to be a historic landmark, but had provided no money to save the station. In 2013, an advertising company who owned the property wanted to tear the building down. Due to the landmark status with the city, the owners then donated the property to a nonprofit group with the stipulation of allowing them to put a billboard on the property. The street side service station and property were donated to the Route Inland Empire California, or IECA. The service station has been restored to look like a Richfield station of the 1930s. It was also converted into a small museum in 2015. Inside the museum, there are artifacts, memorabilia, maps, and photos related to Route 66 and the local area. The museum is available for group tours professional photo shoots, and filming purposes. In 2018, the museum was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The museum is visited each week by Route 66 enthusiasts, whether they're local, national, or from around the world as they travel America's Mother Road. The museum is open Thursday to Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Among the exhibits is this HL scale model of the service station, complete with the garage. And speaking of the garage, here's the foundation. Future plans for the museum is to build a reproduction of this garage for new exhibits and event space. And that is the story of the Rancho Cucamonga Richfield Station. I hope you had a good time. Like, subscribe, and follow us on our social media. You can also suggest new locations in the comments below. See y'all soon, and may your gifts bless the world.